Vitamin D has become one of the most common supplements, but do you really need to take it? Well, here are the latest guidelines. The Endocrine Society, which is an influential group of experts, published a set of guidelines about vitamin D back in 2011. It was very enthusiastic about supplementing, calling for intakes of up to 2,000 international units to reach ideal levels. But more recent evidence has caused them to dramatically change their recommendations. So here are four groups that they do recommend vitamin D supplements for. The first is for those under 18 years of age. Vitamin D at doses of around 1,200 international units can help prevent rickets and respiratory infections. Then there's pregnant women. Supplementation during pregnancy can help to lower the risk of preeclampsia and preterm birth. It can even improve newborn health. So for this purpose, typical doses are around 3,000 international units a day. The third group is those who are at high risk of progressing to diabetes. Vitamin D could play a preventative role. Studies suggest an average dose of about 3,500 international units. And the final group is adults aged 75 years and older, so as we age the risk of death appears to decrease with vitamin D supplementation. But what if we aren't in those four groups? How should we approach supplementing with vitamin D? Well the guidelines suggest following a recommended daily intake of about 600 international units for younger adults and that increases to 800 international units as you hit 50 and above. That dose for the general population ensures that people aren't deficient in vitamin D and locks in the known benefits. That's why I reduce the dose of vitamin D and microvitamin from 2,000 to 1,000 international units when these new guidelines were released. And just because I take a supplement does not in any way mean that you should as well.